Hi guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how to download and install a Kali Linux on a virtual machine in Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First of all, uh, these are the minimum requirements you need to have. So at least you need to have 2 GB RAM. Recommended is 4 GB, but you just can install Kali Linux on a 2 GB RAM uh, system. And also you need a 20 GB disk space. Uh, recommended is 40 GB. And you at least need to have two cores of CPU and uh, Kali Linux ISO unit and virtual box setup unit. So uh, let's get all those things. Uh, let's download Kali Linux ISO and VirtualBox to install. Uh, let's get in the video. Okay. Um, first of all, go into uh, two links in the description below. So first one is VirtualBox. Let's download and install the VirtualBox. So uh, go to the first link and download this VirtualBox uh, one. Once you click that, uh, you will be able to find this section, VirtualBox Platform Packages. Uh, download for Windows Source. I'm going to download for Windows Source because I'm using Windows 11 and uh, you can download in Windows 10 as well. I'm going to click Windows Host and I'm going to click Keep. Meanwhile, it's downloading. Uh, let's go to the second link, which is uh, downloading Kali Linux. So once you come here, click on Download. Okay, in here we are going to install bare bare metal. So you have uh, one called virtual machines. I have used this one and it is not uh, working 100% correctly. So I'm going to use this one. Click on bare metal. And in here, if you scroll down a bit, you need to download this section. So this is Kali Linux 2022.2 uh, uh, version and make sure it is 64-bit uh, selected then click on here to download this installer and it's downloading in here so i'll come back uh, after this download has been finished because it's uh, 2.7 gb it will take some time to download so let me come back after download is finished okay uh, both the files are downloaded now so this is the first one virtual box this is the Kali Linux iso file let's install the virtual box from here i'm going to double click and open the setup now i'm going to click next 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 install okay very easy setup so i'm going to click install And it's asking for to start. Let's click on finish. Okay, uh, so virtual box has been installed correctly. Let's click on new and give it a name. I'm gonna give it Kali Linux. It doesn't matter. You can give it, give any name in here. Uh, once you've done that, you have to select the type is Linux. And the version is Debian 64 uh, because uh, this is Kali Linux based on Debian uh, Debian version, so Debian distribution of Linux. So I'm gonna choose Debian here and click next. In here, you can uh, set the RAM of uh, how much RAM you need to allocate to this virtual machine of your total RAM usage. So I'm gonna put 4 GB here. 2GB is enough, but um, I have 16GB, so I can put a 4GB, that's fine. If you have like a 8GB uh, RAM or 4GB RAM, you can do it into 2GB RAM in here. So click on next. Now I'm going to click create. And next, uh, I'm going to uh, pick fixed size. This is a storage disk, so we can put a dynamic allocated size so it will expand over the time if you use more size or uh, more storage but uh, if you're using fixed size you can put fixed size and click next 
and specify how many uh, GB you need to allocate from your hard disk to this virtual machine. So I'm going to put 4 GB. And also you can specify which hard drive you want to uh, create this virtual machine disk. So I'm going to choose a different one. So I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to click save and click create. Right now it's creating the disk for us. Okay, uh, now the virtual machine is created correctly. Now we, what we have to do is uh, insert our disk and install Kali Linux into uh, this virtual machine. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, um, let's configure some settings. So make sure this is selected, the virtual machine you have created now and click settings. In here, if you go to advanced, uh, sorry, system, you can see a uh, RAM usage, uh, RAM allocation, allocation is 4 GB, that's fine. Processor is 1 CPU, you can put it to 8 because I have 16 CPUs, or you can put it somewhere like 4 CPUs. Then um, a display, make sure this is 128 megabyte and uh, last one is storage this is where we are going to insert linux uh, iso file disk into this uh, virtual machine uh, c drive so let's click on here empty and click here and choose a disk file now uh, go to downloads folder and select the car linux iso file and click open now click ok now everything is set up. Now we have to start the virtual machine to install Kali Linux. So click on start. It's starting now. I'm gonna minimize this windows. Okay, so, um, so we have a bunch of options we can use. We are going to use graphical in install. You can use uh, address option normal install and stuff i'm going to use graphical install you can move your uh, up arrow and down arrow from your keyboard to navigate in the in here so i'm going to click graphical install and press enter okay uh once you come here you can select the language you want i'm going to select english for now for this uh, tutorial I'm going to click continue then uh, location I'm going to use the United States uh, keyboard I'm going to use American English okay uh, in here you have you can put a host name for network and stuff I'm going to just click on continue here and also here continue okay um here you can um put a username i'm gonna put my name in here and press continue and the username of that uh, name is hansaker so it will be there now you have to choose a password for username uh, account so i'm gonna put let's see we can do one two three four okay we can do in here you can configure the uh, clock i'm gonna click eastern and click continue okay uh, in here uh, select the first one use entire disk because this is a virtual machine you don't have to uh, use like uh, dual boot anything so i'm gonna click use entire disk and click continue and click continue all files in one partition that's recommended click continue and finish parsing and write uh, changes to disk select that part and click continue in here make sure this is yes and click continue now it's installing a uh, system for in in this hard drive let's wait some time
Okay, um. Okay, so in here, uh, it's showing some software uh, you, you can install. So I'm gonna make, um, without doing any change, <coughs> changes here, I'm gonna select the first, uh, select the default ones and click continue. Okay, as you can see, it's finished uh, installing some uh, files, copying the file. So let's install the grab boot loader. Make sure this is yes and click continue. And in here, select the uh, virtual disk in here and click continue. It's going to install the boot loader for you to uh, access Carl Linux. Okay, um, as you can see, uh, the installation has been finished. Installation is complete. Uh, that's what it says. Now click on continue to restart and boot the Kali Linux. Okay, Kali Linux is booting now. Uh, okay, this is. Uh, you have to put the username password you have given a uh, previous setup so i'm gonna put mine and press enter to log in okay as you can see this is the car linux and it's installed successfully you have uh option all the options in here uh, exploits and wireless attacks, password attacks, and all the tools you need to uh, use for hacking and stuff. So, so this is that's it for today's video. I hope this video helpful you to find out how to install Kali Linux on a virtual machine and uh, do stuff in Kali Linux. So, if that's the case, like this video, subscribe to this channel. It it make our channel uh, grow faster and make sure put some uh, comments if you have any questions uh, put it in the comment section and see you next time with another video like this bye bye